I'd like to, you to welcome onto the stage with a very uproarious round of applause, please, the amazing Mike McFarlane. Yay! Woo! Hello. So for the past three years I've been playing this, the same songs about being dumped by the same person over and over again. Oh. Yeah. And you know, I don't even care about it anymore. I've got a really nice girlfriend, so it's cool. <laughs> but I'm going to keep playing them because they're quite, I don't know, they're probably the best I can do. I'm going to just get older and... <laughs> um, yeah, this song I'm going to play... I don't know which song I'm going to play. Oh. Okay, I might start with a strongy one. No, I'll start with a finger picky one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
This one isn't a finger picky, it's more strummy, but it's also sad. But the other one was sort of the juxtaposition of a happy sounding song but sad lyrics. And this was just sort of straight up sad. So sorry about that. Helen Collin. some point wrote a song called Cocaine or yeah. did a version of a song called Cocaine. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be fun to write a song called Fuck Cocaine because it's 
super expensive and it's just <laughs> you can get much more readily available cheap drugs from like prescription that are just fucking cracking. <laughs> Oh, my back hurts, have painkillers, cheers! <laughs> so this is a song, um, it's called Fuck Game, okay, but people sort of know it as the Tramadol song now, whenever I say it. <laughs> <laughs> Love Tramadol. <laughs> It also has the most <laughs> has the most horrible lyric in it as well. I apologize for well, in advance. Okay. So this is a song uh, about being lost at sea, which is not meant for being done. I'm going to play it super fast. I'm rather less in the hands of 
faint Taking on water and I fear that I'll try Thank you. 